Good morning, options traders, and a very special welcome to all of the new traders who have joined this week. We've had quite a few. It's great having you here. And earlier in the week, I posted about DraftKings and a head and shoulders top that had formed. And I talked about the critical, what's called the neckline support, which we'll talk about in a little bit. And I said, if that point is broken, expect the stock price to decline, which is what it has done. And in the meantime, I've had traders say, well, what in the world is a head and shoulders top? How do you detect one? And how do you read it? So all good questions. Let's go take a look. Well, head and shoulder patterns are one of many what are called chart formations. And these are just, you can think of them as pictures that are actually created on your charts. I think most of you know that there's overlays such as Bollinger Bands or moving averages. Those are types of technical indicators that sit on your chart. Then we also have the lower studies. So we might see things like MACD and RSI. But the chart formations kind of fall into their own category. They're simply pictures that are created right on your charts. And so you'll hear things like flags, pennants, wedges, cup and handle, double tops, double bottoms. There's all kinds of chart formations. And one of the more popular is what's called a head and shoulders pattern. Now within head and shoulders, you can get a head and shoulders top, which is what I'm going to talk about today. But everything that I'm showing you here can be reversed to make it a head and shoulders bottom. So to get started, let me try to at least attempt to draw it and show some of the more important technical points about head and shoulders patterns. So for a head and shoulders top, you're going to see a nice long extended uptrend like this. And then you're going to see that the stock is going to go into a little bit of a pullback. Now it's important to understand that this point right here doesn't break the overall trend. So if we were to lay a trend line along the lower edges of our candles right here, this point would not break it. It shows that the trend is still intact. But from there, we're going to see the stock go off onto another little rally, but go to a higher high. And this is forming the head. It's going to do the same thing. It's going to reverse, come back down to another stopping point. But notice at this time that the trend has been broken. So once again, if we were to lay a trend line along our candles, let's say somewhere along here, see that point didn't break it, but this point did, this pullback off of the head. We definitely got a break. So this is really our first sign of bearishness, but that's forming the head. So then once we hit this point, the stock is then going to go into another little bit of an uptrend and it's going to form the right shoulder. So you have to kind of use a little bit of creativity here, but this is the head in the center, and these are the two shoulders. So the first thing to identify is the neckline. And what you're going to look for is the first low off of this pullback, the first pullback, this kind of the right edge of the left shoulder right here. And we're going to do the same thing for the head, the second pullback point, kind of the start of the right shoulder. And if we connect those, that forms the neckline. So again, if you just think of this as the person, here's the head, here's the shoulders, this is where the neckline would be. And this is the critical point to watch. If the stock bounces off of the neckline, then we would expect this trend to continue. But if it breaks, then we're going to expect it to definitely go into a downturn. Now, one thing that you wanna watch for is a very significant break. So we'd like to see maybe a really big you know, red candle off of here, maybe even a second one off of here. We'd like to see a really big dramatic break of that neckline. And that's going to give you confidence that it's most likely going to reverse. So one question is, how far is it going to reverse? Well, technicians will tell you that you can just simply measure this distance, the top of the head to the neckline, however many dollars that is, and then attach it right over here. And so this would be kind of our first level of support that we would expect. There are a couple of other important points about head and shoulders to be aware of. The first one is that the left and right shoulders may not be symmetrical. It's kind of what we'd like to see in a perfect setting like this. So we'd like to see that the left shoulder, the height here, lines up with the right shoulder. But again, that is not a necessary condition. We may actually see that this shoulder, for instance, 
only has kind of a very mild look to it, or it might actually be more pronounced, might be up into here. But those would still be head and shoulders patterns. One final point to note is that if you get, let's say your left shoulder is here, we get our head here, we might get kind of an asymmetry in the neckline. So remember that this first pullback, that point right there is one of our critical points and so is this. But notice that if I connect these, there's a little bit of a downtrend to it. And that would give us a little bit more of an indication that it's definitely lining up to be bearish. So it doesn't have to be. Kind of the perfect setting is to see it horizontal. But we might also see that it's got a slight upward tilt to it. But still all of the principles apply. If we break the neckline, it's still going to be a bearish signal. So just understand that the shoulders here do not have to be exactly parallel like you'll see in a lot of the textbooks. But it's really what we would like to see in a perfect setting. So with those basics, let's swing over to the Thinkorswim platform and take a look at DraftKings. So here's DraftKings. Nice performance through the year, but notice we went through the sideways motion here in the center, and then we went off on this new uptrend right through here. But also notice that once this trend was started, we got this little pullback. So this is the first shoulder right here, and as I talked about, it didn't break the overall trend. And then we went on to a new high, this is the head, and then we came back to another pullback spot, and as I talked about in the presentation, notice that this right shoulder isn't nearly as high as the left, but that's not a necessary condition. It's what we'd like to see. In fact, this one's pretty weak, but it's definitely there. You can see there was a little hint of trying to have a, a little rally here, but not much. But it's still a type of head and shoulders pattern. So let's go grab a uh, drawing tool down here. We'll grab a line. So this is the first point I want to look at. That's going to be our neckline. So the point to watch was right here on this candle. And as I talked about previously here, we broke it with some force. Very long bodied red candle here and followed up with another fairly long bodied red candle. But then we supported right off the 50. So that's the first major moving average. We broke the 50 and now have supported along the 100. So where would we expect this to fall? Well, remember we can take the top here where the head is, bring it down to the neckline right there, and then let's go grab a moving tool and let's bring it down here from the neckline. So we're looking at probably right around 34, somewhere in here. So critical point right here, if the stock bounces and supports off the 100, then look for it to resist off the 50. If you break the 50, then we will be back into the uptrend. But if we break this 100 right here, probably going to come back down to 34. Notice that that's also a very good flatline level of support. So I hope that helps to give you the basics of head and shoulders patterns. But they're very popular indicators and quite interestingly happen quite often. So keep your eyes open for head and shoulders tops. And for anyone who'd like to learn more about the arts and science of options trading, please check out the Alpha Trader course and Strategy Lab at optionsa-z.com. Also, please join us on the Facebook trading group, Options A to Z, and you can find a link in the description below.